Hey, it's me again. I just got this Oracle deck today. It's brand new. It's called Situations. And some of you probably know about this. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen uh, a reader uh, use it. And I've been holding off on buying it. Because I have a lot of Oracle decks as it is, but I just feel like I'm called to get this deck. And now that I'm seeing it, oh my gosh, it makes so much sense. And I did a little bit of a, a test run on this Oracle deck and the uh, Hoodoo Tarot deck. And it seems like the messages are the same. They're coming out the same, okay? So let me start with um, where the energy is at with this Oracle deck. Um, let me start with eight and see where the energy is at. I'm going to use the uh, Hudo Tarot deck. So it says, and then I want to see what the uh, situation that we're going to have to say about that. Okay, I'm just gonna, you know, go by whatever I'm going to do. There's no plan, nothing like that, and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, this this shuffles really nicely. It shuffles really nicely. Alright. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is the bottom of the deck. Alright. So I'm getting crushed. Alright, let me just show you what, <laughs> what came out. All right, so crushed, sad, broken. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> sad, broken, feeling alone. I don't feel that way, so it's someone else feeling like that. Receipts, proof, show me. <laughs> This is not my energy at all. So somebody else is going through it. And I, I, I know who this is too. I know who exactly who this is. This is what they're going through. And you know what? That's what they get. Hamster wheel. <laughs> Surviving. Daily hustle. On the table. Offer, proposal, commitment. I mean, okay, so this person is crushed that they chose someone else. So they chose the wrong person. And then there's proof that this person's cheating on them. So they're going on a hamster wheel. The cycle that never stops keeps going. Yeah. The cycle that keeps going. And there's an offer on the table of proposal. I'm like, how are, you gonna, how are you gonna propose to someone when you're married? Really? Yeah. So this is desperation right here. This is like, this is desperation. This is what happens when you choose the wrong thing. When you make the wrong choice, this is what happens to you. Things go haywire. Things go pear-shaped. Things go wrong. That's how you know that, um, yeah, you made the wrong choice. Wrong choice, wrong things. Bad choice, bad things. That's how that's how it that's how it plays out. Right choice, right things. Good choice, good things. It's it just seems like, you know, bad choice, bad things. Good choice, good things. So that's what I'm getting. And I also have roller coaster. I'm telling you, it's a roller coaster. It's a never ending cycle of like regret, like bad things happening because this person made the wrong choice. 
So all these bad things are happening. That's what happens. If they had choice, if they had chosen someone else, it would have a different outcome. Right choice, right things. Good choice, good things. But they chose to, they made the wrong choice. So all these bad things are happening to them because they made the wrong choice. Yeah, they allow, they let their ego choose for them instead of their intuition, which is what they're supposed to choose in the first place because that's what they agreed to do. But they forgot. So the ego made, their ego chose for them, and look what happened. They're going down the wrong path. Interlude, pause, timing factor. Yeah, you need a break because it doesn't stop. Escapade, vacation, hideaway, adventure. Yes, you need to get away from this drama, this BS, this bullshit. Yes, this is your karma. This is what you get when you make the wrong choice. This is what you get when you let your ego choose for you. This is what you get when you don't do your research. This is what you get when you refuse to honor your promise. You promised something that you would do, but you didn't. So you broke a promise, and this is what happens. And history, past, happened. I'm telling you. It's like, you were supposed to do this, but you didn't. And then this is all happening. All this is happening. On the table. Hamster wheel. Receipts. Crushed. History. Escapade. Roller coaster. Look at all this. This is like drama. Negative. Yeah. Bad choice, bad things. Oh god. I'm already I'm I'm exhausted just even looking at these cards. I'm tired. I'm getting a headache just even like just even looking at these cards. It's like one negative after another after another after another. Like it doesn't stop. Yeah, drastic. Extreme, harsh cutoff. Yeah, this is drastic. Yes. Now this person wants to just run away. Because it's the only way they can take a break from this. Oh, God, my head hurts. All right. So, let's see what the Hoodoo Tarot has to say about this. So, roller coaster. Highest high adrenaline, adrenaline rush. What about it? So this is what the Hindu Tarot has to say about this. You're going to get clarity and truth during this reading. of wands, yeah, clarity. So let me see what the intentions have to say for this. Wow. So I'm already getting a warning here with the seven of ones reversed and seven of cups reversed. Seven, seven. 
So seven is a lucky number. It's also a divine number and it's, it's a warning. So you're getting a warning here, which helps with clarity. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, you have the sun card here with uh, Big Mama. X, X, I, X is the sign 19. Yeah, so you know what makes you happy? Oh, look at that, 10 of coins, 10 of pentacles. So you have happiness, abundance, and legacy. And you're balanced, even though your enemies want don't want you to be balanced. They want to throw you off balance. They're going to go through regret. And you're hopeful because you're innocent. You're healing. Oh, look at that, the chariot. Wait, hang on, the moon. Still, I mean, that is Cancer's ruling satellite, the moon. So you have um, the moon here, which is Pisces, number 18. But still, when you see this card, the moon, that's Pisces and Cancer. So the moon has to do with intuition and emotion. So basically, uh, water signs have intuition and emotion, and they're very, they're very, um, Emotionally tuned and intuitive. <gasps> what? 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 Wait a minute. So you have a 10 of cups under the 10 of coins? Look at that. Oh my. Look at that. You have 10 of pentacles. Abundance, legacy, and happiness in the cups. Look at that. You're getting both. Happiness and abundance and legacy. So while you're getting all this, because you're following your heart, you're listening to your soul, and your intuition, you're trusting it, and you're letting it guide you. The other person, all these bad things are happening because they're letting their ego choose for them instead of what you're doing. So they chose wrong while well, you're choosing right. And that's what's happening to you. Because you chose right, you're, you have all these good things happening to you. So bad choice, bad things, right choice, right things. Good choice, good things. Bad choice, bad things. That's what I'm getting. And this uh, daughter of Pentacles is um, Virgo, but this daughter of Pentacles is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. So this could be like Princess of Pentacles or daughter of Coins, but it's the same thing. It's a Virgo, and then this daughter of Princess is going to become the Queen. So the Queen of Pentacles, Abundance, Taurus. So you have a lot of abundance here. You have um, the Ten of Pentacles and the Daughter of Pentacles, who's going to be Queen of Pentacles. That's a lot of abundance. And, oh, look at that. You have number nine, the Hermit. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on. That's 11, that's, that's Justice. Because I'm seeing the scale here, scales of balance here, and that's X1, so that's 11. What? So you have, you have 10, 10, 11? And right next to justice number 11 is zero, which is the fool. Aquarius, so you have Libra and Aquarius. Look at that, they're right next to each other. Libra and Aquarius. So you put them together, you have 10, 10, 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups, 11, and zero. 10, 10, 11, zero. What is that? Whoa. 
Oh my God, that is like a million. That is, when you put that into numbers, that is a million, 10,000, 110. That's what you get when you put these together. 10, 10, 11, zero. Wow. So let me go ahead and um, <clears throat> get these negative car um, positive cards. And then they have, you have two negative cards. Oh, look at that. Two of, two of wands and two of pentacles. So you have 11, 11. And this is what the intuition is going to say. Hold on. You have 11, 11 here with the two of wands and the two of pentacles reversed. So 11, 11. So let me add 11, 11. What? Oh my God. So now you have a billion, 10 million. 110,111. Oh my God. Okay. So this is what the intuitions want to say. Okay. You know what you want? You're peaceful and you have the devil reversed so that means that you know the source of positivity when the devil is reversed that's Capricorn when the devil is reversed that becomes the source of positivity so you literally just reverse the devil that's crazy you know what you want you're peaceful and you're positive. Okay. Let me go ahead and um, address these negative cards. So whoever sent that has been blocked and reversed. Okay. That negative energy has been blocked and reversed. So Two of Pentacles, yeah, you're balanced. But you know what? Only when it's reversed, you're balanced. When it's upright like this, you are not balanced at all. You're being juggled. So two of Pentacles means juggled. You're being juggled right now. And you are going through so much regret right now with the Five of Cups. Because you went after someone innocent. And you're great. You are regretting that because you know that you went after someone innocent. You had no reason to attack someone innocent, but you did anyways. And that's what you get. No clarity. You're not balanced. And you're full of regret. And let me remind you of what's, what's happening and what's coming to you. Five of Cups, Regret. Two Pentacles, Juggled. Seven of Wands, More Challenges. Seven of Cups, You Don't Know What You Want. And You're Owned by the Devil. Yep, that's what you are and that's who you are. That's your destiny, that's your fate, that's your karma. You're owned by the Devil. You've lost control. So you try to control someone because you have no control. And because you have no control, you've been controlled by the devil. That's who owns you. That's who you loyal to. And guess what? You're going back to hell where you belong. Yep. So let me go ahead and um, see what 
this oracle deck has to say situations and i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this reading oh my god Wow, I don't know what the deck is. Pretending, fake, oh my God. Yes, fake. <laughs> Living beyond means, pretending, fake. So that person that made the bad choice is fake. Wow. And because they're fake, they're stalking you. Wow. Yep. You're divorcing this person because you have differences, because they're fake. They're fake. And they want to retaliate. And that's where they're attacking to punish you, to pay back, to seek revenge. And I'm like, for what? For what? Seek revenge for someone innocent? Really? And that's because they're mad. They they lost control. They can't control you anymore. But we all know who controls them. They belong to the devil. They're being controlled by the devil. And because they're insatiable, they want more. And that's the reason why they made the wrong choice in the first place. They, th they thought they could do better. And they realized they can't. So they just fumbled the best thing that could ever happen to them because they let their ego choose for them. And look what happened. Bad things and then they will die. That is the destiny. Bad things and then death. Yep, all because they made the wrong choice. Wow. You, on the other hand, because you made the right choice, yeah, you're divorcing this person, you follow the paperwork, you know what you need to do, and you're doing it. You're making it legal. And whoever you trust is the only one that's access granted. <clears throat> that's the only one that has uh, access to you. Everyone else that's fake, that has done you wrong, they went after you, you know, you were innocent, is blocked, access denied. Look at that, social media, fake profile, hiding. <laughs> they had to do all of that just to even look at you because they know that they're denied access for what they've done. So yeah, only those you trust has access to you. Everyone else is denied. <clears throat> and because you chose to live in the moment, the present, today, you give you flowers. You give you blessings. And you're coming together with someone that you're supposed to be with, you're destined to be with. Look at that. Because reconciliation, spiritual union, soul contract. Look at that. Come together. Flowers. Access granted, legal. So you're doing everything right with the book. And for that, you're being rewarded because you made the right choice. So good things happen to you because you made the right choice, and then bad things happen to the other person because they made the wrong choice. <laughs> wow. Having said that, I hope I helped you in some way. And I will talk to you again soon.